Hello everyone, this is Chapter 2, Gene Technology. Subtopic 2.1.5, Gel Electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is a method to separate DNA fragments by size or mass. The gel used is made of agarose or polyacrylamide. The gel is submerged in a buffer that can carry electrical current and the gel is subjected to an electrical field. The higher the voltage, more quickly the gel would run, but if the voltage is too high, the gel will melt and cause a smearing of the DNA bands. Negatively charged DNA would migrate towards the positive pole. Larger fragments would move slower and the smaller DNA fragments would move faster. The DNA is then visualized using fluorescent dyes. Here is the example of analyzing various DNA fragments by restriction enzyme digestion using gel electrophoresis. The DNA samples are cut with restriction enzymes in three different reactions producing different patterns of fragments. As you can see, we have three reactions here. For reaction 1, the restriction enzyme cut the DNA sample into one short segment and one long segment. For reaction 2, the restriction enzyme cut right in the middle, producing two medium length segments of DNA. For reaction 3, the restriction enzyme cut the DNA sample into another long segment and short segment of DNA. Next, the samples from the restriction enzyme digest are introduced into the gel. As you can see, all three reaction samples are placed into the wells. The gel is submerged into a buffer solution. The tank or gel box is connected to the power source. Make sure the end of the gel with the wells is positioned at the negative electrode and the other side of the gel is connected to the positive electrode. Because DNA is a negatively charged molecule, it's going to migrate from negative towards the positive pole. The typical runtime for gel electrophoresis is about one to one and a half hours, depending on the gel concentration and voltage. Once the gel runtime is up, the gel is stained with a fluorescent dye to allow the fragments to be visualized. Lane 1 consists of samples from reaction 1, lane 3 consists of samples from reaction 2, and lane 5 consists of samples from reaction 3. The further the DNA bands move away from the well, the smaller the size of the DNA as they can move faster through the porous gel. These DNA bands remain near to the well as they have longer fragments. Remember the samples from reaction 2 which have medium length of fragments so you can see they, they are positioned in the middle of the gel. To estimate the size of the DNA bands, we can compare the bands to a DNA ladder. DNA ladder is a solution of DNA molecules of known size. As you can see over here, this DNA band of DNA ladder representing the size of 3000 base pair. As this DNA band is positioned as the same as the 3000 base pair DNA band, it is estimated that this DNA band has the size of 3000 base pair.